Before you cross the street, you better look both ways, or we'll throw you in the pokey for a dozen days. And all around the county, every woman and man knows we'll pull you over just to play our banjo. The Police Accountability Report, brought to you by coplock.org. Coplock is a decentralized project supported by a diverse group of individuals united by their shared goals of police accountability, education of individual rights, and the dissemination of effective tactics to utilize while filming police. And that's the plan, Joe. Throw you in the can, Joe. It's 70 degrees and sunny in Phoenix. What's it like in New Hampshire? This is your police accountability report for the week. The Bible says, honor your mother and father. That is, unless your father is an illegal alien from Mexico who may be doing a little drug dealing on the side. U.S. Border Patrol agent Marcos Gerardo Manzano, Jr., was arrested earlier this week and charged with harboring illegal immigrants at his home, among them his father, who was twice deported by the American government. An FBI SWAT team found an underground room which was used for hiding undocumented immigrants. They also found 61 grams of methamphetamine, along with drug paraphernalia and narcotics packaging materials. The agent's father, Marco Cerrardo Manzano Sr., had allegedly lived at his son's home in the border community of San Isidro since September of 2009. He had been deported in 2008 after being convicted of possession of marijuana with the intent to vende. Manzano Sr. was not found at the home and remains at large. The Mission Texas police chief is being criticized because he gave away items acquired through civil asset forfeiture during holiday parties. Chief Leo Longoria allowed the items, worth several thousand dollars, to be used as door prizes for the police department and city workers' Christmas parties. Texas state law requires such property to be donated or sold and the money deposited in the city coffers. KGBT-TV first reported the story in December after several Mission police officers said they felt Longoria had acted improperly. Those officers accused Longoria of creating a perverse incentives for officers who now might expect to benefit from property seizures. The county district attorney called the decision a mistake. In all, five TVs, two pressure washers, seven video game consoles, and numerous other items were given away at the two parties. The chief said, maybe in retrospect, now we won't do it again, only because of the perception. This week, I conducted an interview with John Blue, a former police academy defensive tactics instructor. Blue was responsible for training nearly 1,000 cops in his tenure as head instructor and taught such techniques as pain compliance. He ended up quitting his job when he realized he was on the wrong side. Since you spend so much time with police officers, did they ever confide in you with things that they probably shouldn't have said? Yes, on occasion they did. They spoke pretty openly around me, especially since uh, some of them had known me for a decade or more. I can remember one story in particular that um, stuck with me, and that was when a uh, deputy was talking about a house that um, he had decided to surveil. And at some point during the story, he mentioned uh, going to his trunk to get a warrant. And I asked him to clarify what he meant, um, going to his trunk to get a warrant. And then he, uh, he let me know that he had a whole stack of warrants. I don't know how many a stack is, but he let me know that he had multiple warrants pre-signed by a judge and that he had made a deal with the judge that whenever he needed to use one, he would go ahead and fill it out and he would just fax a copy to the judge's chambers to uh, kind of cover the paper trail. So is it true that cops have groupies? <laughs> yeah, groupies. Um, the common common terms for those are holster sniffers or badge sniffers, and basically what those are are uh, kind of they are females who have a um, what do I want to say an unnecessarily um, active attraction to police officers. Yes, it's uh it's often um kind of uh, discussed um, between cops as a fringe benefit of the job. You just heard a couple of questions from our Off the Records conversation. If you would like to hear the entire conversation, please check out copblock.org. Connect with us at copblock.org slash contributors or send us an email at copblock at gmail.com. When you're in our county and you want to drive, just remember to go 55. Cause all around the county every woman and man knows We'll pull you over just to play our banjos